Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team layout. So I started this layout by trimming down the beautiful pink paper to 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches and then going all the way around the edge with the washi tape that came in the kit. I am then matting this onto a 12 by 12. Um, I gutted that paper because I used it to cut a cut file that I'm going to actually use on this layout that I created uh, called Made With Love. Hopefully, I think I'm pulling it out in a second. Yeah, here it is. Made With Love. Yay, beautiful. Um, the little love hearts are actually backed with the paper from last month's kit because I still just had a little bit sitting on my desk and it was pink and it was like um, not just a, a flat pink it had texture to it so it was perfect so I used that and the photos there are of me and my girlfriends we had a little pottery party one of my girlfriends gave us both um little pottery kits and she bought one for herself for Christmas and we decided to have a little pottery party and create some amazing things and oh my goodness it went such a long way we made so many things and it was so much fun we made like trinket dishes we made incense burners we made pots for pot plants we made little bells to hang um one of my girlfriends made the cutest little mushroom that she's going to put in the pot plant i really wish i had made one because it's so cute um and yeah so made with, hence the made with love title um also i mentioned this in last week's video just be careful when you're pulling these um rosettes or whatever you want to call them off the acetate the foam that comes with them is super duper stuck uh, so I had to add extra foam this time because it was just all falling apart absolutely love the rosettes they are gorgeous but just be careful when you're pulling them off the acetate so I am packing the little edges where the love hearts are to be my little clusters here just putting any random things that I think look super cute it just all works like honestly just every single bit works just put it on the page and it looks cute as so I am just loving to play with this I love this ephemera and I love this collection and I really love this color palette as well um it is just fun so I am having a great time and I feel like it's so versatile. I've been able to make so many different types of layouts with this kit this month. Uh, and this one was so, so, so quick and easy. I did think about doing some mixed media in the background and still I think that maybe I should have. Um, I adore the way Ranella uses her the, like stars and even just a bit of a stencil across the background could have been super cute. Anyway, I decided that after I'd put too much down on the page, so we cannot go back, but I love it. I think it is so cute. Um, I will, of course, add some splatters and that will help kind of add a bit of zip to the background, which I think at the moment it needs, especially up the top above the word made. It's just looking a little bit empty, but cute, still super cute. Um, so this layout's almost done. It was so, so, so quick and easy. I'm just going to pop on some of these super gorgeous enamel dots and then get my splatters out. Such a quick one. I think because of the cut file and the cut file being a reasonable size and then three photos, it just came together so easily. Uh, it was so much fun to make. I hope you are enjoying this month's kit. Um, the Simple Stories collection is fun and the papers, just the P13 papers just match to a T. Like they're made to go together. It is just so good. Steph just does an incredible job with her eye. I don't know how she does it. I can't do it. But I love working with what she creates. So this is the layout complete. I just think it is so fun and so cute. Um... I'm really enjoying playing along this month and I cannot wait to show you my last layout for this month with this kit because I just have had so much fun. You will definitely see more from this kit um, in times to come. Thanks so much, everyone.